I saw a comment on one of my more recent videos asking if I can make a 3D printed Nintendo Switch dock modeled after BMO from Adventure Time. If you're not sure what or who BMO is, he's basically a living Game Boy from Cartoon Network's Adventure Time shown on the screen right now. Having a Switch, I thought this would be a pretty cool project and googled it to see if it's been done. I found a few people selling it on Etsy for a pretty high price and wanted to see if I could design my own just for the fun of it. Now I didn't want to straight up copy the design I found on Etsy, but there's not too much different I could do since I'm taking the same character and turning it into the same item, a dock for a Nintendo Switch. There were two ideas that I wanted to implement in my design that I didn't see in the one on Etsy, a way to store games for the Switch and a way to have the Switch simply dock right onto the USB-C charger instead of having to plug it in. If you want to skip to the end of the design time lapse, jump to the timestamp on the screen right now. If you're still watching and like to see the concept, design, and build process that I include in all of my videos, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you can become notified when I post my next video. While I was working on this dock design, I came up with a few other Nintendo Switch dock design ideas that I hadn't seen anywhere else online, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see them in the future. My design of the BMO Switch dock includes a faceplate, two back pieces, buttons, arms, legs, and a piece that stores games. Unfortunately, I had a nozzle clogging issue while printing one of the back pieces and had to print the remaining section of the part to bond it together. Things like this happen all the time when printing, and I didn't want to waste more material to reprint the whole back piece, so I went with this method instead.
Now that every piece I've designed is printed, it's time to do some post-processing to make this look less like a 3D print and more like a final product. Prior to painting larger prints, I like to fill in any imperfections that occurred during the printing process with Bondo, and then sand the piece down to make it as smooth as possible for spraying the filler primer. I usually do three to four coats of the filler primer, laying on a bit heavier than usual and sanding in between coats. When you do this, it fills in the layer lines of the printed piece pretty well. To conserve on primer, I only filled in sanded spots that will be normally visible once everything's assembled. Once I felt like I filled and sanded the pieces down well enough, it was time to finish with a top coat of spray paint I found that best matches the color of the character. When I'm doing the final color coat, I usually spray it from a bit further away and do two light coats to make sure I'm covering every surface without causing any paint to build up, especially since I'm not sanding these layers down. The final pieces that I need to paint are the arms, legs, and buttons. Since I didn't want to buy a spray paint can for every button color and don't have an airbrush kit, I ended up using acrylic paint to add the color to these pieces. With everything painted, it's time to put it all together. The buttons are press fit into the faceplate, which snap fits into the bottom back piece. The legs and arms fit into the holes on the bottom back piece. The top back piece fits on top of the bottom back piece, resting on two pegs. The game holder slides right into the faceplate, allowing you to store two games in the dock. It could be made a bit longer to store more games, but since most of mine are digital, I only made two cutouts for storage. To allow the switch to charge in the BMO dock by simply docking it, I modeled the slot with tight tolerances to the USB-C charging cable, firmly holding it there for the switch to slide onto. I'm happy with how this project came out and thank you to Ashley Park for commenting and suggesting this as a video for me. I think the inspiration I saw on Etsy looks a bit cleaner than mine, but having game storage and simple dock to charge functionality built into the design definitely are some cool additions to the concept. If you have any cool ideas that you'd like to see done on this channel, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more 3D printing project content.
While working on this video, I already designed one more Nintendo Switch dock that has more of a Nintendo inspired design. So make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss the next 3D printed Switch dock video. Also, follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on before my videos are posted. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.